Welcome, everybody. Uh, we're going to be going through the, the wide world of uh, Workflow Builder today, um, and we're going to start from the very beginning. And before we kind of get into the mechanics, which there's going to be a lot of mechanics in this session, uh, very little code, actually, actually none, if we're being honest. Um, but we're going to, before I do that, I want to set a little bit of vision about what kinds of things we can do with Workflow Builder. And this is an example of something that I did uh, when I was introducing this project, this uh, feature into some of my the customers that I support uh, over here on the East Coast. This is a workflow and I'm gonna be using the New York tree census data. They had this open citizen science project back in 2015 or so, uh, where they had all the elementary schools in the local New York five boroughs go out with tape measures and measure all the trees. And they got the latitude and longitude, they got the diameter, they did all kinds of things like that with these trees. So we've got a fairly decent census circa 2015, of all the trees that are in New York City. So that's the data set we're gonna work with. And it's it's a beastie. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run this workflow for you. Also, you may see something a little different in my presentation here. I'm using a jump project to keep all my windows in one location so they don't fly all over my screens. So if things look a little different, that's why. So I'm gonna go ahead and push my play button here and it's gonna pull my data set. It's gonna go through and do a little bit of data pre-processing. You didn't see that. But now it's actually going to query me and ask me for what subset of trees I want to work with. Up here in New York State, it's the middle of maple tree season. Actually, this weekend, we have our New York State open house uh, for all of the sugar houses that are boiling maple syrup as we speak. So I'm going to go get some myself. But in, in that spirit, I'm going to look at all the maples in New York City. And it'll go through and create a bunch of different graphs for me. I've got a distribution of how many trees we have broken down by different problems that the students observed. I can come in here and I can look at my sugar maples and I can see that the vast majority of the sugar maples, 124 in this case, didn't have any problems, but we can see the biggest other problem that we had was stones in the stones in the bed or in the, in the tree bed and things like that. We had some branch lights and some other stuff as well but I can go through and look at, here's the map, a distribution of all the different maples that we have. Let's find those sugar maples again, and we can click on it just like we always could. And we can see that New York City really doesn't have a lot of sugar maples. Um, so that's, that's an interesting data point. We can get the average and standard deviations of the uh, tree sizes, and we can do a little distribution here as well. But notice that I did all of that work with one click of a button. And that's the power of Workflow Builder is it takes these fairly sophisticated uh, workflows, uh, data processing workflows or analytical workflows, graphic workflows, and streamlines them into a single button click. So you got to do it once, but if you got the Workflow Builder running in the background, you're one and done. And the advantage of doing that also is we can then curate those workflows and modify them as we go along, make changes to them, clean them up, streamline them, or add them to other workflows as well. I'm gonna focus on kind of the main workflow here. So I'm gonna use one of my capabilities. I'm gonna click my reset button, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, reset that so I don't have to look at it, or so I don't have to look at anything anymore. And I'm gonna bring my workflow down and I'm gonna dock it down here in the lower left corner of my project, just so I have a cheat sheet. So let's go ahead and we will get started with this. Step one, let's get ourselves a workflow builder. We'll go to file, new, workflow. And just like I did before, had before, I'm gonna dock it over here in my project. And I'm gonna make it a lot smaller because I really don't need much of it. Okay, workflow builder looks pretty innocuous. The big things that we need to worry about at this point are the play button or the record button, the reset button, and the play button. Okay, those are the three big ones that we're going to worry about in this session. The step through buttons are sub basically stepwise versions of the play button. Okay. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and push my record button. Now I've got a little X in there that says that when I when I push this button again, it will stop recording. Right now it is recording. So everything that I do from this point forward will be recorded. 